All right, we just had a power hit. Power was down for over an hour. I started up some of the rigs. I had one left, and I'm thinking, hey, let's just show folks how I start up my rigs. I'm sure there's easier ways, but I'm going to do it with one of my last rigs I have not fired up, just showing how I jump the pins to fire it up. Some of them, I do have little switches on them, like uh, right here. I do have switches on some. But again, I am not buying any more hardware. I'm running with what I got. This is over two years old. I accumulated, accumulated all this stuff. Hard to say. So here we have the CPU mining Borg rig. Assimilate. All right. Anyway, so let's rock. We got the old MSI. 470 with a Ryzen 9 3900 everything's quiet now if you remember my other video looking at the manual right what a concept it'll explain all these jumpers right here I know jumpers have a meaning they have a purpose and uh, you can go read about it and learn what you can do with your motherboard here if I want to clear the CMOS <clears throat> if stuff is not running correctly or I um, just think I mess things up with the uh, o overclocks or the PCIe's aren't getting recognized or picking up any cards. I'll just clear the CMOS, start from scratch with a known default. And maybe even then, after I clear the CMOS, flash the BIOS <clears throat> with a new BIOS download from MSI. There you go. Lots of, lots of knowledge right there. Lots of tips. So over here, I'm going to try to do this one-handed, is uh, look at my little tire, zip, zip ties, man. If they break, the motherboard falls. But who cares? It looks cool. All right, over here we got the two pins. Here's the jumpers, and I just got to short out the pins right in this area, and it'll start up. So let's see. Hold on. I look at the fan, so let's see. There, I just did those two pins right there. I jumped them with the metal thing. Boom, now we're starting up. Piece of cake, right? So everything there's, uh, is all networked in cat cable. <clears throat> through a switch and uh, then I have no video card because I'm going to get in using Google Remote Desktop. Takes a lot of stress off this uh, PCIe channel and uh, just makes it easier form factor, right? Initially, if when you're installing everything, you're going to need a video card to see the BIOS, go into the BIOS, blah, 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 all that stuff. You can't see the BIOS using Google Remote Desktop because it's already booted up into Windows, right? Got it? Okay. All right. That is booting up, so what I do, I will run over to Google Re Remote Desktop. Let's go. Do, 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 do. What you are looking at here is my Google Chrome Remote Desktop, showing all my rigs that I have set up to access via the network. None of these have GPUs in them. They're not uh, tethered to my displays with HDMI cables. I use all headless and get in remotely. So there's a couple rigs. At the bottom, some of my old GPU rigs. Look at that, 630 ATIs. That puppy burnt hot and chewed a lot of watts, baby. That was a hog. Back in the old Ethermine days, the good old days, the OG days. That is over. Over for me. All right. So number nine is the rig I just booted up. Let's do it. Just click on that. Tries to log in. And let's get rid of this thing. I have a stupid gaming thing up. This is the first time up. So the resolution is not the greatest. I have this batch file I created, which runs a device driver installer, a Windows adapter, display adapter, which will make the display a nicer resolution just so I can work on this uh, remote display. So bam, I'll just fire this puppy off. Boom. Look at that. Look at that, big daddies. Now, what I do since I freshly booted up, since I had a power hit, I will go into Ryzen Master. I know it's a lot of work, but uh, yeah, it's not that hard. It just takes a few minutes. <clears throat> All right, let's bring this Ryzen Master up. There is a manual out there on the Ryzen AMD uh, support site. Go download it. You can learn how to use Ryzen Master. Again, I'm no pro at it at all. I just uh, know what I, I just know the basics, right? Just to get enough to get by. All right, I'm in manual mode. I have my voltage at 1.1. Is the speed fine? Sure, whatever. That's what I'm going with right now because things are working fine. I'm not messing with them. Uh, I should take some time and poke around and see if I can up the clock speed. And, but I found the voltage is great for keeping the uh, temperatures down. 
And that's where I'm happy with, keeping them running cool and not burning at 80 Celsius. 60 Celsius is a lot better. All right, I apply and test to make sure those settings are happy and it doesn't crash my rig. It'll go through this for a bit. So let's watch it together. So really not bad, gotta fire up the rig, remote in, set up your overclock app, which is this, and then boom, you can bring up your miner and get it back online. Ideally, I could go right through the dashboard on um, nice hash miner and try to start up the rigs, but I know I want to set my overclocks first and uh, go with that initially. So that's why I do it this way. Again, this is not every day. This is once I have a power hit or I'm changing something on the rig. All right, the test works. So I go over to nice hash miner. Blammo. Blammo. You have to say blammo. It'll work, it'll work better and give you better hash rate. All right, it's gonna come up eventually. As we sit here, reflecting upon our lives. All right, it's gonna check our Intel GPU. I don't have Intel GPUs. It just goes through its checks, which is fine. And it'll tell you if you need to upgrade as well. This is what it does. Okay, okay. All right. I'm ready to rock. So the rig's ready. Um, I know my overclock is set. If I didn't do this in the upper right, it would be in the default settings, and then this CPU rig would start up, this Ryzen 9 x and it would burn hot. It would run 80 Celsius. I don't want that. I want it to run in the 60s. That's why I did what I did there. That's the background. A whole bunch of videos on that. whole bunch. Go check them out. All right, I'm just going to start mining, and we're going to probably see that horrible MSR mod I always see. Again, I did all the permissions in the past. You can just set admin to the um, nice hash thing and the uh, app and also the XM rig you're running, and you'll be good to go, no errors. But now, typically, you'll get this, X, yeah, you'll get this mod right here. Yeah, it's stupid. I let it come up. I made another video on this weeks ago. All I do is come in, pause it. Do, 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 do. Oh, I got the green button back. Bam, start it back up. It's, back. it's gone. It's like a race condition with the software. And that's what I think is going on. Or there's something in the memory, the page memory, that needs to be tweaked. But because um, it's, it's every time you initially start this damn thing off, you'll get that error. Does it affect the hash rate? Yeah, maybe a little bit. But you could run with it. But uh, just hit pause and restart. All right, Blamo, this guy is up. And he is now mining XM rig. 6.8.1 on, uh, what the hell is it called? Monero, XMR via NiceHash. And it is out there churning. So you can go over to the dashboard. And da, 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 what number was that? Nine. You can see nine is not mine. It reported pretty quick. I'm amazed. So I'm running random X Monero. Uh, there's other ways you can run these things. You can use uh, HiveOS. You can use Unminable, ZergPool. Uh, Monero Ocean. I mean, there's so many things. I've made many videos on all this. Just go check them out on different polls you can use. And I'm not, did I say unmindable? Yeah. All right, so this is up and running. I got 11.12. And I'm about... Up oh, the temperature has not yet been reported. That's fine. What I can do is go back to the display. Blammo. Let's go over here, guys. Hit. You can go up here and hit devices. And you can see what you're running at. Not bad, 53 Celsius. So this always gets updated first. I'm buck 16 a day on this card. So it looks like profitability kind of went up a little bit. A couple of days ago, it was really down. I gave the CPUs a rest. But I said, no, I'm going to keep mining. Crypto Jim, you stay in the game, Crypto Jim. You stay in there and you stack those Satoshis. And I said, yes, sir. And I got the rigs back online. And I want to keep stacking that Bitcoin because we are waiting for the ETFs to get approved, uh, BlackRock, Vanguard, Fidelity maybe, and uh, that's going to make widespread adoption, conventional adoption into Bitcoin, and maybe it'll drive the price up. But remember, Bitcoin, it could go up, it could go down, it could go sideways, and it could do nothing at all. 
<laughs> it's all for entertainment, man, guys. You can have fun with this. You can always lose your money, too. If you put a lot of money in crypto, it can always go to zero. So you got to be ready for that. It's not a, it's not a guarantee. Nothing is a guarantee. Then you got to add on tax, taxes, exchange fees, all that crap, man. Everyone wants your money. They want to take it out of your wallet and put it in theirs. All right, little eight-minute video, guys, how I start things up. It's up and running, so what I can do, I, could, I just walk away from this. The dashboard is updating, and it's out there mining away. And that's all there is to it. Let me know how you guys do it. There's probably an easier way. I could have just fired up the rig and let it come up, went to the uh, nice hash dashboard, hit start. It would have done the same thing without actually doing the overclock settings. I think there is a way to do profiles on nice hash with the overclocks i just have not messed with that i know gpus on hive os and nice hash you can go in and set up your profiles and uh, i think this under optimize right here you can check out i don't know if i focus focus look i'm at 200 bucks Woo! look at that stacking those coins baby stacking that bitcoin well i'm gonna drop my phone <laughs> all right you can click optimize this is for your homework click optimize boom you can go in here and select up your device. So it looks like it's only on GPU optimization. So maybe there's other ways to do CPU optimization. I don't know. I will look into it. All right, that's all I got. Hope this was fun. Hope this was helpful.